fact is pig racing. It's really self-explanatory. Can't believe you asked that. It is exactly as it sounds. They have this miniature track and they just send pigs around to race and they've got these little bibs on. It was just weird watching little pigs. This is a tremendous idea. This is not weird at all. This is actually great entertainment. I love America. What's up, my friend? My name is André, and I'll be reacting to seven weirdest things I have seen in America. Oh boy. <laughs> But before I go into that, can I ask you for one thing? If you can leave a like on this video, thank you so much for that. It's the best way to show support. If you can subscribe, oh man, in that case, well, forget about it. You make my day. Have that in consideration. Now, link for the original video in my description. You guys end up recommending this one quite a lot. Lawrence, what an amazing content creator. Give him some love. That's it. Let's play it. Hello, I'm Lawrence, hey. and I'm on a quest to uncover all of the memos that Britain and America lost in the pond. And sure. one of those memos pertains to all of the weird stuff that we do. Specifically, the weird stuff that they do in America. Okay, quick pause, my friends. I have to be quite honest right now. I love America. I really do. But I've been reacting to a lot of crazy American stuff also. And uh, there is a lot of weird things in America from time to time. Overall, great, great country, great people. But this could be a spicy one. I think people who live in another country might have this idea that America is just the land of weird because of all of the news stories that get funneled out to the UK and elsewhere. What weird stories am I talking about? Well, there was that weird incident in 2009 when those parents pretended that their boy was trapped inside a balloon and flown off. And then, of course, every breaking political story ever. That's the same in my country. And anything that involves the word man and Florida. But as somebody who's lived here for 14... Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> But this is not the first time you guys t t tell me about this. What is this joke that is always going around Florida men? Do Florida men are crazy? Because I'm sorry, but you guys always say, oh, that's a Florida man or something like that. I, I, I noticed a couple of jokes about Florida men in the comments, but I'm not sure what's going on. I mean, I actually, I have an idea. I think probably there is a lot of crazy stuff going on in Florida and maybe that the... the this idea of the Florida man became became almost a meme, you know, but I'm not sure. So you guys, actually, I would appreciate if you guys can tell me in the comments, what is this Florida man joke? In years, these weird and wacky news stories do tend to paint a false picture of what America is actually like. Mm. Of course, you'd know that if you were already subscribed to my channel. So if you're not, do that now. But just as was the case during my 26 years of living in the United Kingdom, I have nonetheless seen my fair share of weird incidents. And today I'm going to tell you all about the first seven that spring to mind. Growing up in the UK, I was a huge fan of the Superman films. Do they have a Superman right there? Oh, sorry. Oh, man. Right there. I love Superman. <laughs> what? What is he talking about? specifically numbers one and two. After that, it was diminishing returns. I had everything. I had the toys, I had the VHSs. I even had a Superman costume that was a little too tight and thankfully the pictures have all been burned. But nonetheless, I was surprised to find that here in the state of Illinois, there is a town that has a big Superman statue. And not only does it- It's amazing. I'm sorry, this is fantastic. This is why I love America. What is talking? This is not weird at all have a big Superman statue, but the place in question is known as Metropolis. The economy of the entire place seems to be built around Superman, evidenced by the fact that there's even a super- Okay. No, that's weird. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Man museum right next to the statue. And now that I have a beard, I'd be really intrigued to see what the people of the town do if I just turned up dressed as General Zod. Billboards by the highway are already a kind of alien concept to me because we just don't really have that in Britain. So when I first moved to the US and I saw them all over the place, it was a little bit... Of um, we have some here, but uh, not like in America. ...of a novelty. Well, look, there's a friendly one welcoming students to Indiana University. There's an equally friendly one for the hospital of the same name. Oh, and there's another one saying that Jesus is watching us. Best be careful on the road. And I don't know what it's like... Okay, wait, what? But, uh, okay, okay, that threw me off, actually. Jesus is watching. You should be careful on the road. That's 
probably true, but uh, l- let me say one thing. Uh, Jesus, I actually lost my train of thought. Never mind. Like in other parts of America, but in the Midwest, it does feel like about a quarter of all billboards are devoted in some way to religion. But my favorite ones are... Oh, um, okay. Okay, that's... in Yeah, you don't see this at all. Um, billboards related with religion, no chance here. I mean, maybe, maybe there is one, uh, but it's very rare. It's very, very rare. That's something that... Um, it's almost, I would say, and I hope no one takes this as, as offensive, but it gives almost a bad look to the religion if you do that type of pro- propaganda almost. You know, it's something that people have to find by 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 itself. Um, if Not if. When I go to America, this now I will be aware, but if I was not aware, this would be very surprising to me. See a lot of religion stuff on the billboards. And I'm a, a religious person, to, to, to be honest with you, my friends. Um, but for someone that is not, that could be, uh, I would say a bit weird, maybe. But are The ones that I always see when we're driving through Gary on the way to Indianapolis. Because just about every single one of them is for car accident lawyers. And all I can think as we're driving along surrounded by other vehicles is that this must be an accident hotspot. So now I feel good. Actually, now that I thought about it, those aren't my favorite ones. The weirdest one I've ever seen was a billboard that said, if you're reading this billboard, then you're not paying attention to the road. <laughs> That's amazing again. Man, I, I love America. I, I don't care about this weird stuff. <laughs> it's amazing. Well, no sh- <laughs> And while we're on that subject... The car crash. Game series all of the seven. Sorry, let's run it back. Food. Well, no sh- And while we're on that subject, car crashes, right? I've seen my fair share in the United States. As a passenger, I experienced firsthand my first ever two car crashes. But that's not the weird bit. The weird bit came in Anderson, Indiana, near the casino. And for those of you who've been to Anderson, Indiana, you'll know how plausible this is. We were in our car, minding our own business, and the car in front was doing the same. Then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this smaller car comes racing from the side and smashes into the car in front of us. And firstly, that by itself was the most amazing and terrifying thing that I've ever seen. But not as weird as what happened next, because next, the driver of the car that just crashed into the other car reversed, then did a U-turn and crashed into another car right in front of our very eyes. Our thinking was that he was probably drunk. He was terrified that he was going to get in trouble for hitting the first car, and he tried to bez it away. Drugs. I bet money away but in doing so he totaled his own car and thankfully i've never seen that man again but that's kind of rare right my friends right i hope so waiting uh i believe this is actually a good thing about america you don't have to wait for a lot of stuff that's my prediction maybe i'm very off on this but and thankfully I've never seen that man again. Every now and again you might see something a little bit weird going on in restaurants, right? And I don't want to throw any companies under the bus, but let's just say that this one rhymes with Binternational Mouse of Flan Cakes. One day my wife and I went into there, I didn't get any say in the matter, and we got seated, got seen to, ordered our food and thought to ourselves, this is very three star. But then as time started ticking away we looked at our watches, which we weren't wearing because it wasn't 1998 anymore, and we realised it had been half an hour since we ordered our food. And in America that's just not on. Also, we're not the kind of people to berate waiters. I'm just doing this for dramatic effect. And it suddenly occurs to us that our waiter, who was about 16, I think, wasn't just part of a team of waiters. He was the team of waiters. We looked around and he was running from table to table, back into... Oh man, that's best. To the kitchen, coming out in hot sweats. And as we're listening in, we hear other diners saying things like, oh, our food's taking a while, isn't it? But just not in a Northern British accent. And they all sound really sort of, you know, mad. 
And I'm thinking, well, look at him. He's not Superman. This isn't Metropolis. Anyway, after <laughs> about an hour, he comes over to our table with what he thinks is the food that we ordered and sets it down. Now, I'm a British person. I don't really like confrontation. But I found myself in the awkward position of having to explain to him that I ordered a burger and chips and not red velvet pancakes. And at this point, he's starting to well up because all of these people have been berating him for something that evidently isn't his fault. And here is this nice and polite British man telling him... Ooh, I think, unfortunately, this is not what I ordered. And as soon as oh, he boy. started crying, which is a sentence that already... Oh, he started crying? Oh, no, I'm out. I would, I would say, yeah, take the money. I, I, I don't even want the food anymore. Sorry, I, I cannot deal, deal with this emotion. Warrants its place in this list. I, I don't know what to say other than, is everything all right? What's, what's happening? And he tells me that several people called in that night to say they couldn't do the shift and the manager was nowhere to be seen. How are you open then? Eventually, and I don't know if the manager turned up, but we got our bill and it said zero on it. And I think they did that to everybody else in the restaurant for this short duration that we were there. It was, it was weird. I've never seen it before and I haven't seen it since. But... It's a crazy story, actually. <laughs> Being the future benevolent YouTube sensation that I was, I gave him a 50% tip. Not 50% on zero. That <laughs> I was like, yeah, that, I thought that was a joke. <laughs> okay. That would be zero, but on what the original cost was going to be. Yeah. Just want to clarify yeah, that. Yeah, sure. No, no, no stress. I almost feel like I'm cheating by including this one because I've since... Wait, sorry. Did I actually read that correct? I don't believe it. Zero, but on what the original cost was going to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just want to clarify. No, that. no, no, sure. <laughs> What's going on, my friends? Pig this. Pig. I almost feel like I'm cheating by including this one because I've since learned that the practice that I'm about to describe does occasionally happen in the UK as well. But my discovery of pig racing, yes, pig racing, occurred at a very American thing, and that was the Indiana State Fair. And I know what you're thinking. Ooh, Lawrence, what? Indiana. I never trusted Indiana. <laughs> Joking. It is pig racing. It's really self-explanatory. Can't believe you asked that. It is exactly as it sounds. They have this miniature track and they just send pigs around to race and they've got these little bibs on. It was just weird watching little pigs. This is a tremendous idea. This is not weird at all. This is actually great entertainment. I love America. Pigs run around like that, right? Because you're used to seeing horses or dogs. That's from the past. Nowadays we do with pigs. Or, or humans. People loved it, from what I could tell, though they were probably high on all of the sugar that they consumed around the fair. And I can't tell you how the pigs felt. I mean, they looked happy enough, but that is their default face. Mm. I also don't know what, if anything, the winner got. Because it's not like they can appreciate a trophy. So it, prob it was probably just some sort of snack. What do pigs eat? Is it hay? Uh, carrots. No, that's... No, no, no. It's not carrots. I actually think pigs eat everything. Probably given some hay. Okay, this one is a little bit morbid. That's weird. There's no getting around that. Because the truth of the matter is, it was only after I moved to the United States okay. of America, at the age of 26, that I saw my first dead body. And for those of you back home thinking, oh, how exciting, that sounds like the plot of Stand By Me. Well, it wasn't. It was more like the plot of My Girl, the bit where Macaulay Culkin gets absolutely killed to bits by bees. And he's in an open casket, and you're thinking, well, fair enough, things were different back then. No, things are still the same. Because just literally months after moving here, I was invited to a wake of a friend of a family member of my wife's that I didn't know and come to think of it neither did my wife but we went anyway and this is a common practice in the United States you just walk sure. up to the casket pay your respects maybe look at some photos off to the side I usually yes. focus on that and the whole process just feels really Victorian it feels like I'm in Victorian Britain and America or at the very least Indiana has some other sort of funeral related practices that you'd never see in Britain because when you're in a car in a funeral procession in Indiana all of the cars that aren't part of the funeral procession have to stop out of respect and while you're sitting there heading to the cemetery, Chris. you're thinking, oh, that's that's really nice. That's a nice show of respect. Yeah. From experience, you're not quite as on board with the idea when you're in one of those cars and you want Culver's. 
because you just sort of feel oh boy yeah <laughs> okay makes sense feel trapped which is a perfect segue into this coyote incident this will be good I think it's well known by people that have seen my video on the subject that America has all manner of wild animals. You got it's bears, true. you got huge eagles, you've got crocodiles. Uh, no, I believe there is no crocodiles actually, my friend. I believe it's alligators. Crocodiles in Florida and alligators in Florida. Maybe there is actually both. But here in Chicago, a major city that isn't in a massive wooded area or high mountains or a swamp, we don't really see too many of those animals, except there was this one time. I was woken from my afternoon slumber by my wife. That's not the weird part. That happens all the time. Because she wanted yeah. me to come and see something that was happening outside our window. And getting up off the sofa, I'm thinking, oh, what crazy shenanigans has Chainsaw Jim got himself into this time? And for once, it was nothing to do with him. Because outside our window, trapped between two fences that were this close to each other, was mm. what my wife informed me was a coyote. And of course, I'd heard of coyotes. I thought, I don't know why they're still up. I'd heard of coyotes. I just didn't expect to find them in the city. For me, I just assumed these were the sorts of animals that turned upon your uncle's farm, right? Me too. It felt like nowhere was safe. But then I had a moment of compassion and I thought to myself, it's not us that's in danger here. It's the coyote, right? At any moment, some chickens could come along and point at it and laugh. Which, given the history between the two animals, would provide some justice. But I thought in order to prevent that, or something even worse, we should probably free it. So we did, and now that I'm admitting it to thousands of people on YouTube, I'm not entirely sure that was the right thing to do. Because it wandered off into an alleyway and ended up who knows where. Because where? No, I think he did the correct thing. I mean, what animal at the end of the day is trying to survive like us, you know? Can a coyote live in a city? I mean, there's all manner of potential hazards, right? Traffic, construction, chainsaw gym. And that probably accounts for why I never saw a Chicago coyote before that incident or one since. So those are some of the weirdest things that I've personally witnessed in the United States since I moved here. Let me know in the comments below some of the weird and wacky things that you've seen across this country. Just try to keep it clean. My mom's probably... Yeah. It's just me or Lawrence was on fire on this video. I thought his jokes ended up being amazing. At least my, for my type of humor, I really enjoyed this video. Reading the comments. I'm Lawrence Brown. You can follow me on Twitter at Lost in the Pon US. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that I don't have to. Great Every stuff. Sunday, I'm lucky enough to speak to my patrons about topics just like this on my secret live stream. So if you would like to become a patron of Lost in the Pond and help everything we do, you can do so at patreon.com slash lost in the pond. Until the next video, goodbye. Oh, man. <laughs> really really liked the, this one hope you also end up enjoying this one and again the best way to tell me leave a like if you are if you really really like the video leave a like also but also leave a comment <laughs> that would be amazing and if you are new to the channel of course consider to to subscribe i mean what can i say lawrence this guy is amazing <laughs> he's, he's one of the the most uh, is one of the channels I like to react the most, better saying. And um, yeah, I, as long you also enjoy this, this I, I will keep, uh, I will keep doing it. My friends, thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.